Hey there, Patriots. Uh, so what I wanted to go over today and define for you is angle pairs of uh, two lines cut by a transversal. This video is super important. You've got to know these names to have success in this unit. Okay, so if you're struggling, make sure you talk to me and we're going to have practice tomorrow in class. But you got to know these names. So I just use the word transversal. What is a transversal? Simply put, a transversal is a line that crosses over two other lines. So if I give you two lines right here, a transversal, let me fix it up a little bit. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, let's do it in red. Is this red line. This dark red line is a transversal. It is a line that goes over two other lines. Now you'll notice what happens is we made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight angles. What we're going to do is we're going to take those angles and put them into pairs, into groups of two, and then name them. So notice we have four angles on the inside. The four angles that touch the transversal, that is super important. They must always touch the transversal and between the two other lines. So to figure out which line is the transversal, this is the process I want you to use. I want you to always start by highlighting the transversal. Always highlight the line that crosses over the two other lines. Then you're going to shade between my coplanar lines. This is the interior. This is the interior of my lines. So these four angles, oops, let's use my, mat. I want to use my creative pen. These four angles right here, boom, 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 angles. These four angles are my interior angles. One, two, three, four. Now they don't have to be one, two, three, four. I'm just labeling them one, two, three, four so you can see them. Notice they are all inside. They all touch the transversal. Very important. Now we also have exterior angles. Exterior angles are the four angles that touch the transversal and are on, on the outside. So once again, I want you to highlight your transversal. You're going to highlight the transversal. Always highlight the transversal. Shade the inside. We shade the inside because the outside is too big. Now the angles I want are the exterior angles. They are these four angles. One, two, three, and four. Those are my exterior angles. Notice the one, not the inside, they're not in the shaded area, they are outside of the shaded area because they are exterior. Exterior means outside. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take those angle pair, those angles, and we're going to put them into groups of two and make special pairs. Our first pair that I want to talk about are called alternate interior angles. These angles that are going to be on the in between the coplanar lines are going to be on the inside and on different sides of the transversal. Alternate sides of the transversal, different sides of the transversal, one left, one right, and on the inside. So to find them, once again, we are going to highlight our transversal. We are going to shade on the inside. We highlight our transversal, we shade on the inside. Remember, we had four interior angles. One, two, three, four. Those are my four interior angles. Now the ones that are alternate interior angles, are ones are gonna, they're all on the inside. One is on the left, one is on the right down at the opposite side. Not one and two, one and two are a linear pair. So I know angle one and angle four are alternate interior angles. One is on the left, four is on the right. They are both inside. So are angle two and angle three. They are also alternate interior angles. Two and three are also alternate interior angles. Two is inside and on the right. Three is inside and on the left. Oh, sorry about that. Got a little choked up. If we have alternate interior angles, we also have alternate exterior angles. Same rules, but instead of being on the inside, now we are on the outside. To find the outside, I am going to highlight my transversal. You are not too cool to do this. Please do these steps to find our angles. Got to do this part. So we are going to highlight the inside. Why? Because we always highlight the inside. Now just to be a little different than I was last time, I am going to label these 5, 6, 7, 8. I'm doing 5, 6, 7, and 8 because they're on the outside exterior now. They are the exterior angles I am looking for. And they are on alternate sides of the transversal. One, They are on opposite sides of the transversal. So angle five and angle eight are alternate exterior angles. Five is on the left, eight is on the right, and they are both on the outside. 
I know what you're thinking. Why not five and six? Why not seven and eight? Because these are linear pairs. Remember, linear pairs. And we also have angle six and angle seven are also alternate exterior angles. Same side interior or consecutive interior. They're the same angle pair. So we're going to start by highlighting my transversal. You guessed it, shade on the inside. We always shade on the inside. Now, interior, interior angles. So I am looking at one, two, three, and four. They need to be on the same side of the transversal. So both on the left or both on the right. So angle one and angle three are my same side interior angles. We're mostly going to use consecutive interiors, but I'm old school. I always remember same side interior. And angle two and angle four are also same side interior angles. Uh, we could also call them consecutive interior angles. Consecutive interior angles. Uh, we'll, you'll see them both ways. Alrighty? They're on the same side of the transversal, and they're both on the inside. If we have same side interior, it only makes sense that we have same side exterior. Oops, goodness, let me get the right thing selected. Let me get my highlighter. So to find the same side exterior angles, once again, highlight our transversal. Shade on the inside. Shade on the inside. We want them exterior. They are on the outside. Five, six, seven, and eight, because they are exterior but I need them on the same side or on the consecutive side of the transversal. So I need the two on the left. That's going to be angle five and angle seven. They are consecutive exterior angles. We also need angle six and angle eight. Two pairs, consecutive exterior angles. Boom. Corresponding angles. These are angles that are on the same side of the transversal but one is inside and one is outside. They're going to be on the same corner of the angles. So to find them, what we're going to do is we're going to highlight our, our transversal, shade on the inside. Now notice they don't use the word interior or exterior because I am using one each. So if we label our angles, let's start by labeling the in interior angles, one, two, three, four. Label our outside angles, five, six, seven, eight. So if we start with angle five, I need it on the same side of the transversal, but I need the one that's on the inside. So don't go to one. Five and one are linear pairs. So we're going to do angle five and angle three. Five and three are corresponding angles. They are both on above the line and on the left of the transversal, top left corner. Angle one and angle seven, they're both on the bottom left corner. Angle six and angle four. They're on the same side of the transversal, one outside, one inside, top right, top right, and angle two and angle eight. They are on the bottom right. Boom. So please make sure you've got these definitions in. Sorry for the bell. Uh, if you've got any questions, let me know. Uh, we are going to get started over how to find these more tomorrow in class. I'll see you when I see you, Patriots.